It's an absolute peach of a day for the second Betway ODR between South Africa, the hosts of Bangladesh here at Imperial Wanderers on the pink day in the cause of breast cancer awareness. What a day it's become. The 10th time we've had a pink day here at Wanderers in South Africa, having been impregnable early doors. They won the first six. They've just started on pink day. They can't start it today because they already won down in this series after Bangladesh's mightily impressive performance up at Supersport Park on Friday evening. Nice to see a few members of the crowd that can only be of a limit of 2,000 in this 28,000 seater stadium. But as we heard from the CEO of John O'Leaf, right, let's hope they make the noise of those 28,000 on this pink day, a special day here at Imperial Wanderers. On the pads, clipped away, looking for the, the real miracle ball, the big swinger, and it's clipped away nicely for the first boundary of the morning. In the air, it's going to be out, it's going to be taken, as simple as you like. The extra bounce from Ngidi, it's caught the shoulder of the bat and it's looped to point, and that's an early strike for South Africa. In the air, and taken. Playing to the onside, leading edge. It's a loop away to the offside, but Verena had to make ground and he's taken a good catch to spare for those Bangladeshis because Shabkib has gone for naught and the visitors are in trouble at eight for two. Pulled away beautifully, waiting on the back foot. That'll be four through mid-wicket. Again, a bit short from Ngidi and that's a confidence building boundary from Littendas. Oh, that looks like another wicket. Yeah, it's definitely the glove. This is a superb start for South Africa this morning. KG Rabada. So to intent from ball one. Up in the air. Gone. There's another bounce again. It's Rabada again. Yeah, the extra over has worked for South Africa. Oh, big, big shout, huge shout, and it's a cursory turnaround from Wayne Parnell because he knows that's in line. Another one's down. Despair for Bangladeshi fans and South Africa responding here in some style. Oh, nearly. It would have been some catch and it would have been rather lucky or unlucky for the batter, depending how you look at it. But he was pretty close to that was Quinton de Kock. It's gone for four. It was an exclamation from Parnell as he got into the gather. I hope it was just he lost his footing and he didn't feel a tweak or anything like that. Now, the way he's reacted there, you would suggest there might be just a little something. Now, he's, uh, he's looking a little bit sheepish, isn't he, about what's unfolding he's just hoping that as he gets to his mark he turns around and starts his run up again no he's going to go have a word with timber i think he's done something that is a major problem for south africa they've only got a five pronged members of this five man attack and they've got to find an extra bowler and here he is over the top of cover and away for four enough of this enough of this says a thief up comes the bangladesh 50. He's got it away. Nicely played by Mamadoula. Four welcome runs. It's nicely swept wide. Should go to the boundary, it does. The boundaries are coming. Oh, Sip's not there. It'll go for four. Oh dear. Understandable, I guess. Got him! Gone! They set the trap. And it's fallen right into it as Mamadou Riyad. That man, Shamsi, with the breakthrough. Yeah, it's the time of the game that that man comes into play. 
Come on. Oh, Come that's on. poor. That's a poor delivery first up. You're so kicking yourself as the bowler. You get a new man in and you present him a full toss. In the air, through cover for four. Happy to take him on. There was a bit of width, there was a lack of pace. He just rolled the fingers over it and it's been slapped over wide extra cover. And there is 50 for the diminutive young left-hander. And they rise to him in the dressing room because this is a special knock. It's his second ODR 50. Through cover, yes, through cover for four. That's a super stroke. It's a, it's a half volley, admittedly, but the timing and placement, quite outstanding. <laughs> big hit, big hit. Could be, could be. Oh, my word, it's dropped. That is a huge moment in this Bangladesh innings. It's the bonus of Bavuma. It's the wicket that he's probably deserved. And that reaction tells you everything. To get a new man in at the end of the innings would have been what South Africa wanted, and Milan has put it down. Yeah, that sort of this. line there. Yeah, fortunate boundary. Swing, thick outside edge. Yep. More. Six more. It's gone straight up in the air. Bavuma takes the catch. It's Rabada again. He's had a good game today, has Gahisa Rabada. Gets a fourth, and it's a timely strike because a fifth can be particularly dangerous at the back end. In the air, taken! That's a beautiful catch. Well done to Yanaman Milan. Redemption for him. He's dropped a couple, but also it's a fifer for Kajisa Rabada. Yeah, brilliant bit of bowling. Once again, the variation just holds up in the surface. Yeah, absolutely brilliant from Kajisa Rabada. Yeah, high fives, hugs, everything, pats on the back, whatever you want, because he's been Superb, led right from the front. Five for 39, Gahisa Rabada. Here it is. Here it is. Out! He's got him! Oh, Brassi Kandas Dassin! He's got a wicket! Where's he been? Where's he been? Swing and a miss to finish off. Just the four of the final over. Bangladesh end 194 for nine, having won the toss here at the bull ring and decided that they'd bat first. The last 10, 48 runs. South Africa will be happy with that. The star for them with ball in hand, Kajiso Rabada. Welcome back to the second Betway One Day International between South Africa and Bangladesh. The pink day here at Imperial Wanderers and that's what South Africa need to square the series. Slapped away square for four. Little bit of width on the angle and wristily Milan puts it away for a boundary. Good shot to Cock. That's trademark to Cock. A hint of width. He got on top of the bounce. It's a sweet stroke for four. hit he's picked it up and smashed it high and handsome and into the stands wow Quinton de Kock means business straight back past the bowler what an over this is of vintage Quinton de Kock there's 14 from it it's 27 for none through for four he loves it square of the wicket he just waits and hits it late it's a very beautiful piece of timing from Yanaman Milan. Another South African boundary. It's look good, like a good start by the home side. Over, extra cover, inside out for six. What a stroke, Quinton de Kock. Shot of the day. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Quinton de Kock in full flow. Beautiful shots all around the ground. 
shot again. Going round the dial is some player. Talent galore. Oh, yes. Oh, beautiful. This is fantastic. He'll go to 50. Prolific as Quinton de Kock into the side and he brings up 50 number 28 in one day internationals. It's come off just 26 balls. Placement, placement and timing as well. When you're on that side at the Wanderers, it's a, it's a struggle. I'm lucky there. That's a nice shot. Minimum of fuss. Good timing, just tucked round the corner and away it goes for four. Bowling! Gone for the sweep, gone too far across and missed it. And Mehdi Hassan is the man with the breakthrough. Yeah, he's just taken a few poor options. Yanaman Milan went for the sweep a couple of overs before, gone for the pedal sweep this time. Quinton de Kock goes big. I don't think he's got enough of this. No, he hasn't. That's a great catch in the deep. De Kock is out and Bangladesh are back in this. De Kock has held out in the deep to an excellent catch. Smiles all around Bangladesh because they know this is not done. The end of De Kock for 62. It's been a great innings. But has his departure turned the game around? It's 94 for two. Whipped away wide of mid on. Yes, it is. Nice little bottom-handed flick away for four. That'll relieve some pressure. Well played, Carl Verena. Six. Short, picked up into the stands. That's a superb stroke from the skipper. Short again, pulled again, six again. That's even better. Low, flat and skimming and crashing into the advertising hoardings for six. That's very well placed. Is he going to beat the man on the cover fence? Yes, he does. Awesome timing and placement from Calvarena. Edged in four. It's not going for them today, Bangladesh. Nobody out there. Easy pickings. Couple of bounces and it rolls away for four more. Yeah, you're talking about bouncing back and it's been emphatic from South Africa thus far. Up and this could be caught. Yes, it is. Eventually, Timber Bavuma middles one of those sweeps, but unfortunately, he doesn't get enough contact on it to take it all the way. And that's the third wicket for Bangladesh. That's nicely played. Missfield allows it to go away to the boundary and brings up the fourth one day international 50 for Carl Varane. He's played superbly. He's just managed to accumulate the four boundaries and two sixes. And it was an important little knock in the middle. They won't stop supporting, that's for sure. Short and punched away by Rassi van der off the back foot for his first boundary of the day. And that takes South Africa to victory. The celebrations can begin, the series is leveled. Nasty setup for Supersport Park. And it's been a quality performance by South Africa. Asked to bowl first, they answered the question with five initial wickets up front. And that basically set the tone for the rest of the day. Back to winning ways again in this pink day. It's been eight of the ten pink events that South Africa have been on the winning side. So a day they really enjoy, a cause that has raised some fantastic awareness and money, which will hopefully be used in a fantastic manner going forward. But a comfortable win for South Africa. They win by seven. And we look forward to what should be a fantastic decider at Supersport Park.